Alright, I started today over. I erased what I started today. and Here's the engine kit for the Bonneville. It's here already. I said three to four days and it's here. Hell, it would have been here yesterday, but for some stupid reason, it got sent to the post office. Something about something sure delivery, so yeah. So I guess from now on, I'll make sure I send the parts to the farm. 53, huh? And then here's the new head bolts, too. Got the head bolts. So, called the machine shop today to see how the heads come out because I said if I don't need a valve job, don't do it. Because But I haven't heard from him yet. So, a lot better looking gaskets. At least the intake gaskets are in one piece at this time. So, yep, and then Roger's here. He made it. Hmm, I wonder where those go. I don't remember seeing those yet. Oh, I bet you I know where those go. Yep, I do. Valve covers. So, yep. Unfortunately, made in Taiwan. Because <laughs> I told Buddy at the machine shop, don't put it together, put the heads back together because I got those to put on yet, new seals and that. So, ah, fuel injector. So, we got the gaskets for the Bonnie and the head bolts. And I don't know if you guys can see it, it's still tore apart. So, um, did just Put some thread tape on that, got that ready, so later we might take Mr. Trans Emission case there in the front of it and go find some simple green or something and go we'll test that power washer out and give her a good washing. Get her all cleaned up again. So yeah, I just got done washing Roger's new brake rotor off with a parts cleaner, so we're letting that dry. And then I gotta decide where I want to put it together. <laughs> Obviously, I can't get that out of here. The more behind me, I could, but this, eh, yeah, too much plastic on the ass end to try and push it back in. Yeah, I'm not going to work on that car outside. Uh uh. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Anybody notice anything missing? I decided why I'm at it. Uh, you know, this car's got a power steering leak. Uh, you can see that line is just washed clean. I don't know what's leaking on it, but it loses all the power steering fluid. And I'm glad I did go ahead and tear into this because it looks like that power steering hose is only about a foot long. It goes right back to there and it's into the unit, the steering rack. So, uh, really wish I could push this outside and use that power washer out here I'd get some degreaser and degrease everything but uh, oh well so we're going to get the new hose and that power steering pump I can't believe they want to make sure they get that thing back one place I called they wanted 100 bucks for the pump and 75 dollars for the core charge another place I called they're 65 with a 35 dollar core charge so and that's got a lifetime warranty on that one too so and I got the whole thing I'm getting a new tank everything the whole thing but I gotta pull my power steering pulley off because it don't come with that so ah but yeah now's the time to fix that problem instead of trying to do that with the head and everything on there so we tore into that quick so that's off and I gotta check with them Monday to see if they still got it I can't go. Well, I guess I could go today. Eh, nah, I'm not going to do that. Just in case it takes too long. No. So, anyway, well, I'm kind of dragging butt today. It's Saturday. It's the weekend, and I'm dragging ass. This morning, I started out the day with feeling like somebody took their cowboy boots and uh, did a hillbilly stomp on my gut. Uh, it's just weird. But I held off on taking some of the medication, so I know. Anyway, I 
feel good now. A little warm, but I don't know. Warm. <laughs> it's only 56 degrees. I'm warm and I got a fan blowing on me. Yeah. So, hmm. Power washer, wand, hose. Hmm. Do I want to mess with that? Yes, I do, don't I? Maybe we might just load that up and go to town and see what we can get done quick. See if she actually pumps water. Be nice. I know somebody that would be really happy if it does pump water. So... Hmm. Hmm. Let me think about that. Alright guys, who's used this stuff? Simple green? A purple power. Which one's going to be the better? Picked up a couple of 88 cents bottles for that stuff. So, that stuff was... The stuff had a dollar off coup instant coupon, so... That was cheap. So... Yeah. Anyway, we got that stuff, so we're gonna get some of that purple power into there and see if it's actually purple. And that goes right there on the shelf there, right there. So, all right. <laughs> well, we're gonna try it. I thought I would be spraying water out, but I don't want to, so. Let's see what happens.
Alright, go ahead and hit the red button and we'll show them when we watch the transmission. All right, we're trying the purple stuff, purple power first. And it's cutting, I see it. So the transmission is going to be the second wash. Tahoe, if I had somebody with a scrub brush going along, that'd be great. So, but at least we now know it works. Yay. So, all right. Well, look at that. I did some writing on the wall. That was with that, with the stream. Didn't even think I went right across that and just started slicing that. Started taking paint off, so I'd say that's a success. I just gotta figure out why when you let off the trigger it wants to die. I don't know if there's a bypass valve, bypass valve not working or what, but she really pulls down, but that little motor, she pops off every single time I pull it. Just right now, boom, boom, I'm running. So, thank you very much, Iron Man. That is gonna be so handy. Tahoe's even cleaned that transmission. Wait until you see the case. It took the black stuff off. I mean, took it off to the... Uh, there's some painted numbers on there for the... Uh, painted numbers on there for the rebuild, I guess. I didn't even see it until after I washed it, so. All right, I gotta go find some different socks. Well, I'd say it worked pretty good. Dang near completely removed that uh, Goodrich sticker. The case is clean. This looks like black paint or something from a rebuild before, but look at that thing. I just got done blowing it all dry and everything. And there's 90A. There's a, couldn't even see that when I started, so. Yep. I just gotta drill that out, drill that hole out for the one wiring thing, but look at that. Inside's nice and clean. So yep. I'll turn that back over while I'm thinking of it. Uh, there. But Purple power, I kind of like that stuff. As soon as I sprayed it in there, you've seen the soot from the other transmission parts just start melting off it and running off. So I am real proud of that power washer. I think done really, really good. Now, if I had pressurized water out here at the farm, or I'll figure that out. I would push this car outside, degrease this sound bitch, and wash it. So, but it is what it is. It's an old car, and that's what it's being fixed up as is an old car. It's not going to be 100% perfect. This is going to be functional. So, yeah. So, big shout out and a big thank you to Iron Man. Thank you. That is really going to come in handy. I yeah, thinking, dang, wish I would have had water. I would have power washed those heads and that and done that all myself. So, all right, we're closer to getting parts for the tranny. Parts are getting cleaned up for the tranny. Then we'll be ready to rock and roll. So, now we can see if I can build it and make her work. I think I can. Uh, I don't think, I know I can. All right. I got that stripped down now. We got the pulley off it. What the fuck? <laughs> my language. What did he do? Attack you? No, he went chick the top. Yeah, that cat is acting like he's stoned or something. So, yep, we're gonna go get a new pump. Stone replace that while we got this apart. There's the moon, people. There's the moon. And let's see. As far as my camera's doing as good as it is. And there's the sunset. And the birds are singing. It's just a gorgeous freaking day out here. Gorgeous freaking night. Anyway, I want to go get that power steering pump in the morning. So I can get that changed and put in. 
and have that part done so we don't have to fight with that. And I think we're going to call it a day, a successful day. Got the brakes working on Rogers. Got that changed. Power washer works. Again, thank you, buddy. That's going to come in real handy out here. You might have to spend the money on the, at the car wash. Yep. I just got to figure out a holding system and being able to pressurize the water to feed the power washer. So, yep. Uh, with that, everybody, well, thank you for watching. And we're getting closer. Like I said, once I get my hands on the parts for the tranny, we'll be building the transmission. And Monday, hopefully we're putting the car back together. I think I showed those parts, didn't I? Right. Yeah, I showed the parts. It's been a long day. Yeah. I don't remember what I did. Hey, you did. Yep, when, you so. first, when you first brought them out here, you opened okay. the cabinet, yep. sat down and showed Yep. All right. Well, I guess thanks for watching TLC Bear 2, and you all have a good weekend and weekday whenever you watch this video. And until next time, catch you later.